the Average Joe Florida. A little noisy, we're in Disney Springs again, a little busier today. So today we're back, we're gonna be checking out Everglades. Go see what their donuts are all about. We've heard good things about their donuts, so we wanted to finally get a chance to go on over and, uh, and try a couple of them. Plus, check on the status of the M&M store, which as you can see back there, is coming along nicely. So that should be open very soon. So uh, let's take a walk around and go over to Everglades, shall we? Come on along. So the M&M store is coming along very nicely, actually. There's three of these in the country. One is in New York City, Times Square. One is in Las Vegas, and one is in the Mall Millennia. The one in Mall Millennia is closing. It's coming over here to Disney Springs, and it's gonna be a large store. You can see. It looks like any day now it would open. Yeah, it's very close. They have the big M&Ms on the side. Now let's go on down and see. Okay, so on the M&M store here, they have a QR code on the side if you wanna take a shot of that and scan it. It'll take you to their website, Disney Springs. And we stand to wait, visit M&Ms.com. And you can see they have what, five of the M&M's up on the side of the building. And you can see here, there's studs on the side, hook another one there, one there, one there, and one there. So three more, four more M&M's to be put up on top of that, and something above the big M over there. A few more M&M's to go up. Five up so far, and four more to go for a total of nine M&M's. I think within two weeks, this will be open. Yeah, I would say very soon it'll be open. Very soon. All right, we're gonna head over to Everglades now. We've arrived here at Everglades. Donuts Cold Brew right across from Splitsville, which has a construction wall up. Brand new, just opened a few days ago. There is the QR code for Everglades for the contactless menu. And they have social distancing all set up out here. You can see them making the donuts. It's hard to see through the glass. That's the donuts I got. We'll see that we get more inside. And there's a bigger picture of the donuts on the wall across from it. All right, you enter in here. Sandwiches, fries, cold brew classics, peppermint mocha, vanilla hazelnut, salted caramel. Chocolate milk and cinnamon buns, they have cold brew. They also offer spiked coffees, full beers and seltzers, classics, and the funky bunch. So two different levels of donuts, it appears. A standard donut and then a higher end donut. You can see the flavors up there they have. And mini donuts. They have a nice patio area outside to sit down and eat, as well as inside. Hello. You see all the donuts back there. Those are huge donuts. Are they really? Yeah. That, oh, no. Those are monster sized donuts. Wow. You have a vegan donut as well, right? Yeah, so that purple one up there, or purple blue they have like Very good, thank you. Okay, you know what you want? So we'll eat the donuts when we get home. They're just, we just had our lunch, so we'll have our dessert when we get home. Um, I don't want to start it here, and it's kind of messy. They're bigger than I thought they were anyway, so. Uh, but you got your iced coffee, right? I did get my iced coffee. And we'll, we'll show you these the donuts. donuts. Yeah, we'll look at these donuts. So each donut is huge. <laughs> it's huge, and it's four fifty. But they do give you a pass holder discount here. Yeah. So make sure you get your pass holder discount. Oh my gosh! Look at these things. They're, they're cakes. They're like mini cakes. She said each one is about three quarters of a pound, which I absolutely believe. Yes. That's I love sprinkles. You know that. So that's my absolute favorite. I can't wait to try that one. But when we get home, be a couple hours, we'll try them because uh, we just had our lunch. And what did you get? Just an iced coffee? Did you get a peanut butter iced a, coffee? No, or? I got an iced coffee. I didn't see Cold peanut brew. butter on there. Okay. Yeah, they had a few flavors listed. I didn't see that one though. They must have had other flavors. So. But that's good. You like iced coffee. And we're outside in their sitting area under this little pergola. You won't get much shade from it, but it's just kind of cool. And they have tables and AstroTurf in the middle of Disney Springs. They have bigger tables. And if you park in the orange garage, you're right here, right next to the orange garage. Very convenient, but we're in the lime garage, so we had to go all the way back. New tables out there. So I should have pointed out inside, there's two different levels of donuts. One is 450, one is 550, based on uh, what you got. That sprinkle donut we got was 450, but the peanut butter donut was 550. So we're gonna head home, we're gonna try these donuts. Come with us. Everglazed. Florida, born and glazed. We have the rainbow sprinkles on vanilla icing. And we have the peanut butter one. So we talked about the donuts in there, the two different types of donuts. You open them up. This is the regular style donut. This is $4.50. That's $4.50, and, that's and the, right. this is $5.50. Right, I don't call the word they used, but it's like the higher premium. end cream, premium donut. So I, I think that's pricey for donuts, to be honest, regardless. Uh, if you think about what a dozen costs, I didn't see any discounts for dozens. Uh, there is a annual pass discount though, but it wasn't much. But So we just got one of each. That is the vanilla frosted donut. That is a huge, look at the size of that plate. It that's a nine a inch donut. plate and that's a huge donut. So we're gonna cut into this and we're gonna give it a try. Cause there's no way we're eating a whole donut, not no. both of them. Just cut that piece off. 
Oh, it's very cakey. Oh yeah, it is. Sprinkles are always good. These two donuts will last us like all week. <laughs> There you go. All right. So let's try the donut. The vanilla glazed or the vanilla frosted with sprinkles. Mm -hmm. It definitely tastes more cakey than a yeast donut. Um, the donut itself has a consistency of a cinnamon bread. Uh, if you're familiar with like a cinnamon bread. Uh, with oh, like a, yeah. Coffee cake like roll? Like a coffee cake. That's it. It's like a, that's exactly, it's like a coffee cake or we like king cake. It's like the cake under that. Right. So right. it's definitely, doesn't have a yeast donut uh, taste or consistency. It's very, very thick and dense as you can see here. Very, it is dense. Very I, thick I saw and that dense. before. Yeah. It definitely has a coffee cake. Here, try some. Uh, a coffee cake consistency instead of a uh, yeast donut consistency. Usually yeast donuts you can just they dissolve in your mouth a yeast donut and it disappears, you know? This is like you're eating a piece of cake. It is very good. And it's very sweet. It's very sweet, but it's very, very thick. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. hey, it's good, don't get me wrong. And that's probably why it costs a little more. It's more than just a regular donut. It's definitely more like a coffee cake than it's a donut. It's very dense. Very dense. It's definitely filling. So I would say to split one. Oh, without a doubt, split one of those. That's for sure. All right, so let's try the peanut butter one now. All right, so we'll do our best to take this peanut butter one out here. And there is, you can see, uh, Reese peanut butter cup chopped up on top. You can see big piles of chocolate ganache over here, and those are peanut butter chips, I'm gonna guess, right? They are. Yep, those are peanut butter chips. It's all a big donut full of goodness, that's for sure. That's chocolate ganache, I'm sure. It's full of sweet. Mm -hmm. It's like a sweet, sweet filling, mm -hmm. almost like a frosting. Yes, yeah, yep. yep. Definitely a rich chocolate. Right, and I don't know what this is. That's Reese's peanut butter cup. That's easy. Oh, okay. You yeah, can see right. that. All right, you want to cut this one? Yeah, cut a little piece of this one. Let's see. It's definitely a dessert to take home. I uh, mean, you could eat it there. If you split you one with could. a couple of kids. I don't I'm sure think, um, the youth of America would enjoy them. I guess. And again, it looks that uh, Very dense, dense. cake-like. Mm -hmm. a, this is their peanut butter supreme one here. There's a lot of candy in there. Oh, sure. A lot of those little pieces of Reese's. Yeah, those little peanut mm -hmm. butter chip. What do you think, though? It's very, very sweet. If you like sweet, that's a donut. But is it peanut buttery? Very peanut buttery. buttery. <laughs> All right. All right, well, I think they're good. I definitely think they're worth getting, at least trying them. I don't think they're an everyday treat, that's for sure. No. But uh, if you're going to Disney, it's a special occasion anyway, so swing by and check out Everglades. It's worth trying them. All right. They're very large, so I would recommend splitting. Yeah. Uh, by far, there are plenty to split with, especially these um, premium ones. There's a lot of sugar on Yeah, that. we saw their maple bacon donut they had there, and there must have been four pieces of bacon on top of that yeah, donut. Yeah, it's so just crisscrossed over the top. I, I can't imagine that. So that's why they charge the premium price for them. Yeah. 